Hello my data science friends, hope you are having a wonderful day. I am Divyan Chagrawal and you are watching Knowledge Overflow. Today we will be talking about another data science course that is coming your way again from Ireland. So this course goes by the name of MSc in Data Science and Analytics and is offered by the University College Cork situated in Ireland. This is another great university to target and this is, this is even more pocket friendly course so you should definitely target this course. In this video we will be talking about the university profile, course overview, program curriculum, how to apply, fees, scholarships, everything. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this beautiful and very inexpensive course. So let's just first talk about the university itself so UCC Ireland is one of the top most university in Ireland and they've got a world rank of 298 with the status being public and student to faculty ratio is again nice 10 is to 1 and uh, 3000 international students are already studying here as well also if we talk about the university rankings by subject they have got a world rank in the rank band of 200 to 250 even better for computer science and information systems and graduate employability ranking is even better from the previous university that we were talking about you can have a look at that video as well they have got our employability ranking in the rank band of 201 to 250 again and let's just go back to the university's page so this is the main landing page for this particular course MSc in data science and analytics and um, you just don't be afraid of this all this written here it is Gaelic language and you don't need to be afraid to learn about that you the course is totally in English and Ireland is known to have uh, official language as English as well so you don't need to worry about that also the applications were open on 1st of November for the next September 2022 intake but right now they are open and they have clearly written that may reopen at a later date so you should definitely put this course into your bucket list if you are looking out to study in Ireland also if you want to know about when are the dates opening you don't need to check regularly on their website there is a link here you have to complete this form there is a Google form here and you can fill it up and they will let you know if they have opened the application in a later date or not if you talk about the course uh, specifically so this course goes by the name of data science and analytics and is offered by the college of science engineering and food science duration is one year full time like most of the courses in the uk and uh, it's a full time course and the tuition fees for non eu is 18500 euros which if we convert to indian rupees corresponds to 15 lakh 81000 as of the current rate and uh, the entry requirements we'll be talking about it in a while and the closing date as as i already told uh, the applications for now are closed but may open uh, later in the future all you have to do is to fill that form and um, here they say about the course outline so uh, the part one consists of 60 credits and there is a 30 credit dissertation as well core modules are 30 credits and elective modules are 30 credits so it is beautifully uh, segregated into buckets core modules are data mining deep learning foundations of statistical data analytics generalized linear modeling techniques these are the courses that made up the core modules and uh, students who have adequate uh, knowledge of database uh, they can have this particular course apart from all these courses database technology and if you don't have any database experience you will have to go for the introduction to relational database courses so i suppose if you are from computer science uh, you will definitely be going for this database technology course cs6408 and uh, there are 30 credits of elective modules you have to take 10 credits of the computer science courses and at least 10 credits of the statistics courses and apart from that you can make up anything you want so these starting from cs code starting from cs are from the computer science and st means statistics so you will have to take 10 credits from cs and 10 credits from st and the rest you can cover from anything so these are the core, uh, elective courses that you can have a look at and uh, choose accordingly and uh, students who have adequate programming experience uh, should take these two courses complex systems development and scalable computing for data analytics and who do not have uh, programming experience who haven't studied programming prior to this course should take programming in python and programming in python with data science applications Part 2 consists of 30 credits in which you have to write a dissertation in data analytics from a CS perspective or from a statistics perspective. It's up to you what you have to write. And um, apart from that, uh, 
companies that are actively recruiting their graduates. So Accenture, Aer Lingus, Agility, Elite Irish Banks, All Data Technology, Amazon, Apple, Bank of America, Bank of Ireland. There are a lot of companies here you can see. So I'm not going to even go into all of these. So, uh, so as to save a little bit of time, but you can have a look at all these companies here. Starting salaries also they have given. So the graduates from this particular course are earning between 45,000 euros to 95,000 euros as a starting salary. So this is a really great return on what you are spending. You are only spending 18,000 euros and you are getting in return 45,000 to 95,000 euros. And the requirements for this particular course is you need to have a second class honors grade in a primary honors degree, of course, in computer science or mathematical sciences. And uh, if you have a second class honors in a primary honors degree with a strong numerate content so suppose you have engineering finance physics biosciences or economics as well so you are eligible to in that case but in that case the program team must satisfy that the numerate content is sufficient to the entry to this particular program that means uh, you have some uh, you should have studied some prior subjects that are required uh, as a prerequisite in this particular course and even if you don't have all of these things they still have something for you guys if you don't meet any of the criteria so what you will have to do is to you need to have a minimum of five years of verifiable relevant industrial experience in a particular domain related to all these so if you don't have any of the degrees stated above you uh, either you should have a five years of relevant industrial experience then the other degree requirements can be waived off also shortlisted applicants who do not meet the standard entry requirements so if you don't meet the standard entry requirements but you are shortlisted but in that case you will be invited for an interview but for the people who are meeting these standard entry requirements and are shortlisted they won't need to go for an interview as for the english language requirements if you have completed your studies outside of ireland you need to provide an uh, english language proficiency score if your national language is not english we'll see that in the india specific requirements as well and how do i apply the main thing now you may you have made up your mind to apply how can you apply so this is the online application portal and you will have to apply here only and uh, you will have to pay a 50 euros of application fees which if you convert to indian rupees corresponds to 4200 indian rupees as of the current rate and uh, you have to gather all the supporting documents as for the application timeline so as i already told you that this course opened the application on november 1st 2021 for september 2022 intake but right now the applications are closed but can later open so you should definitely collect all your documents and be ready uh, because there are a lot of chances that they open once again and the round as i already told you so uk universities are known to provide admissions on the basis of rounds so they have multiple rounds close to five or six starting from early october and november and goes till april and may so you can have a chance of having one or two more rounds after this also if you have any questions so this is the form you can fill it up and you can directly contact UCC if you want to and uh, also you will need to pay a non-refundable deposit of 500 euros if you get selected only of course after getting selected you will have to pay and this will be a part of the tuition fees so whatever the fees was that uh, 500 euros would be deducted from that and the rest will be paid after that so this is just to secure your seat that is the thing now, if we talk about the India specific requirements for this particular course, so you will require to have a Bachelor of Art, Science, Commerce, Professional Bachelor's degree. So as previously told in this video, this particular course requires second class honors. So there is a code for 2H2. So here we will only be we will only require to see this particular section of this course. And uh, if you have a Bachelor of Arts, Science or Commerce or any professional bachelor's degree, you'll need to have a second class honors grade two or grade one. So uh, 2H2 is something where the first division is awarded at 60% and a grade of 60 to 65% is considered 2H2, uh, second class honors sec grade two. And uh, second class honors grade one refers to where the first division is awarded at 60% and uh, a grade of 66 to 74% is equivalent to second class honors grade two one and if the first division is awarded at 65 percent at, at, at any institute that means you will need to have a 65 to 69 percent uh, to be equivalent to 2h2 and uh, if the first division is awarded at 65 percent again uh, you need 70 to 79 percent to be uh, eligible for 2h1 
that means that is minimum cgpa of 7 on a 10 point scale for second class honors grade 2 or 7.5 on a 10 point scale for uh, second class honors grade 1 uh, but if you are not having that degree first class but you having a second honors degree uh, in case which are belonging from top universities as recognized by UCC, such as University of Mumbai, University of Delhi, University of Calcutta, and the University of Pune. So high second class scores are also considered from these universities. Let's just see uh, about the English language proficiency. So you will need to have a uh, English language score if your mother tongue is not uh, English. Uh, they accept IELTS, TOEFL, or Pearson PTE. And if you are from any of these countries listed here, you have uh, you don't have to uh, go through any English language test if you are belonging to any of these countries. So these are the tests that are accepted as part of their English language proficiency scores. So you can provide any of the scores here, Duolingo, Wilds, TOEFL, Cambridge, Cambridge Advanced, Pearson, or UCC English language pre-sessional pre courses as well. And, um, and there are the requirements written here so if you are providing the duolingo english test and uh, you are pursuing this course from college of science and engineering and food sciences so you'll need to have a score of 110 or 115 plus skills check and if you are having a det score of 120 or more you are eligible for full offer but if you are having a lesser score than 120 then uh, there is a skill check that will be required as well and for ielts here so for this particular course you will need a overall score of 6.5 with a minimum individual of 6 in each of the sections if you talk about toefl you need a toefl score of 90 with each of the sectional scores given here for each of the sections you can have a look and uh, for cambridge you will require a score of 176 overall with 169 in each element of the test so these are the scores and then you can have a look at cambridge advanced exam i'm not going to go into all these exams because these are not much popular exams the most one most popular ones are ielts toefl and duolingo in, 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 i have explained all these but if you are willing to give other tests as well you can have a look at that as well and uh, now we just jump on to how to apply so this is the how to apply page first of all you need to choose a course of course you know about that apply online you will have to apply online gather the documents that are required check your status pay your fees and for that information get connected with the UCC so you already know about this course you need to apply through their online application portal this is the portal I'll pass this link as I already told you you need to provide a 50 euros application fees as well and um, the documents that are required are uh, the evidence of all your qualifications listed on your applications like the transcript of the examination results any supplementary documents specifically requested for your course if they have asked you to do provide some uh, things and an evidence of english language proficiency of course and the proof of id uh, your national proof of id passport would work in most of the cases and uh, fees of course you will have to pay the fees once you get an offer from them and uh, before making an application there is a checklist so make sure you have a valid email address because this is required for you to log in and credit or debit card is required for an application fee of 50 euros as i already told you pps numbers so this is not for the international students this is for the irish applicants and ucc student number if you are already a ucc student i suppose you are not so this is not required in your case and in addition to all of these so there are some pointers as well which, which i would like to tell you from this particular page as well so if you are confused if you are uh, you or non you student you can have a look at this link they will let you know about based on your nationality but i'm supposing that most of the people from uh, watching this video are from africa or asia so in that case you are not a eu student you are a non eu student and uh, there are some documents that are written here that were required for with the application so official academic transcripts of course graduation certificate that is your degree certificate i already told you about the proof of id right so this is the thing so photocopy of passport is required and ielts test score or any other english language score that you are providing your cv your official documentation relating to any academic or professional non-degree qualification apart from your bachelor's if there is any and reference letter and grading certificates may be requested there is nothing as such that you have to provide but of course reference letter is always a helpful thing in your application so if you have reference letters you should definitely put it up 
also how is my application processed so it is reviewed on a rolling basis as i already told you because they offer uh, the admissions in terms of rounds but it's not like if you have completed if you are fulfilling the eligibility criteria that doesn't guarantee you an admission there and it approximately takes three to five weeks as well from the date of application so once you apply you need to sit back for like a month in order to get your application result also there are some international scholarships that you can uh, avail here at the ucc portal but these are all the scholarships before which you will have to apply individually so once you get into ucc you will have ample of knowledge and opportunities for, to apply for the international scholarships and here is the page of the international scholarships so there are a lot of scholarships at the postgraduate level i just kept scrolling and scrolling and I couldn't stop it so these are the scholarships these the this is a scholarship for top master's program this is china scholarship for probably for only Chinese people, Choctaw Ireland Scholarship Program, College of Business and Law Scholarship, fee discount 25% for returning international students, Irish Aid Fellowship Program. There are a lot of scholarships, so you can have a look at it. I'm not going to go into the details of this particular scholarships page, otherwise the video will get very long. I'll just pass this link into the video description so you can have a look at all the international scholarships and what particular international scholarship suits your needs. So that was all about this particular course. I hope you like this course and you will gonna apply for it. Let us know in the comments if you are applying for this course or if you have got an offer from this university. We'll be happy to know and there might be a chance that we could add you up for a collaboration. If you like the video, please discover other uh, content on my channel. I have had a lot of content on data science already on my channel. You can have a look on all of these videos and uh, if it is helpful to you i would request you to share this channel with your friends who are looking out for data science and computer science courses around the world i'll keep coming up with more computer science and data science courses in the near future so stay tuned to the channel and until the next video au revoir